As always, this part of the show is pre-recorded, and that's because right now, as this show is going out, I'm in a secret location in Europe, near to a casino, with £5,000 of someone else's money. I want you to understand exactly how I stand any chance of predicting the outcome of a roulette wheel. So let's start by looking at the basics. People have been trying to win money from casinos in both legal and illegal ways for a very long time. So I've come to talk to Paul Wilson, who's a gambling expert from The Real Hustle on BBC Three. In the card game of blackjack, you can beat the dealer and win money if you get an ace and a picture card to make 21. There are techniques to better your chances in this game, like counting cards that are legal in some casinos, but Paul is going to show me some of the illegal techniques that people have used. Let's imagine we have a hand here, an eight and a four. Now that's not the best hand in the world, but if somehow I'd stolen two cards from the casino last week... So you've got a queen in your ace, which you brought into the casino from... <laughs> yeah, yeah. you've stolen them last week. So before you do it, we have the an eight and a four there. Mm -hmm. so now you're going to turn over the eight and a four. Yeah. And in doing it... Let's just do it like that, and there you go. That was a little fast, so let's see it one more time in slow motion. This time with the cards face up. Blackjack doesn't, doesn't give you as much of an edge as some other games. Yeah, each bet is only returning uh, an even profit. Yes. But what if you were getting over 30 to 1 per bet? And that, of course, is where the roulette wheel comes exactly. in because the odds are much yeah. higher, the potential wins are much, much higher. It's the holy grail. If you can beat the roulette wheel, yeah. then, you know. So this is the roulette wheel. Yep. And uh, there are different ways of betting, but uh, what interests me in particular is betting on single numbers. So there are 36 numbers and a zero. Yep. And if you bet on a particular number and that number comes up, your odds are 35 to 1. You, you, 35 to 1. 35 to 1. Bet. So there's a lot of systems and there are systems all over the internet. You could get somebody trying to sell you an internet that if you bet in a certain way or you follow a certain pattern of betting that you'll make more money. Uh, of course that doesn't work. There is no betting system to, to, to beat roulette. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that the wheel can't be beaten because if you use physics, there is something that you can predict about the wheel. This has been something I've, I've spent the last year of my life kind of obsessing over. Mm. About how can you use physics as opposed to sort of probability and betting systems to beat the wheel? Okay. We use concealed computers. Uh, I'd just be timing the ball, and then actually feeding the information to the computer. Mm. We're telling the machine the speed and location of the ball and the speed and location of the zero on the wheel. Yes. The machine recognizes that and then begins to figure out what number will be underneath that ball when it drops down into the tub and then how far will the ball travel before it lands in a slot. So it's, it's complicated and obviously with all of these electronics it's very risky. Because you know nowadays they can tell if you're wearing electronics. Absolutely, yeah, they're onto it. So the only surefire way of beating a roulette wheel is to do what a computer would do which gives you the genuine physics, the only real route into predicting it, but to do that in your head and not use a machine. You can't just memorize with a technique. You have to actually understand the relationship between these two objects and process it on another level. You just can't apply an equation to it. It's the holy grail for a reason. But it's worth it because the odds are, well, the payout is potentially yeah. huge. Never said it would be easy. No. No. So would you like, while you're here, would you like to see our little mouse? He's, I'll see definitely. He's definitely. quite friendly. I'll, I'll just come and have a look. He's, he's perfectly friendly. There he is. Oh, he's not there. He must have got out. Oh, there he is. Get <laughs> No, he wasn't there. There is no mouse. There was no mouse. There was no mouse at all.